Hey, it's Miss Spivey, and I have a special segment today. I have the honor and the privilege of being with Mindstream Radio right here in Largo, Maryland. I'm going to talk to Adam and Paul and see what's next for these guys. They're doing amazing things. Take a look. All right, so I'm with the guys, Mindstream Radio, Paul and Adam. How y'all doing today? I'm doing wonderful, Chanel. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you, sir? I'm doing great, Chanel. How are you? So tell me what's going on with Mindstream Radio. Tell me what's the latest. What can we expect? Tell me something exciting. Oh, uh, we got some top secret stuff coming up. Some things we ain't already want to put out there. No, we're just trying to grow. Um, it's all about growth. Yeah, man. Real talk. Um, it's all about growth with us. Um, we are planning to be on your radio five days a week, maybe yes. six. We're planning that. Um, we got some TV stuff we're going to be doing. We're going to be traveling to folks like you and to all sorts of people and interviewing them on the spot. Um, and a lot of things. Brand new website, brand new mindstream-world.com is coming. It's going to be a blog site. We have writers. Um, you're familiar with Bethel. She's going to be writing on the website. A lot of good stuff. A lot of growth from Mindstream Radio. Let me let you Well, uh, uh, myself and Adam attended Prince George Community College together. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to PG. Shout out to PG. It, 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 it never, it never ends. College. It never ends. Yeah. Um, we had a, a small student organization that we ran together called BAM. Uh, we used to put on uh, open mics and do different shows. And uh, just working with my man, we just worked very well together. So when we left school, we started our own production company called my, I mean called H uh, and H Global Entertainment. Um, from there, we got we had a we can say it on air, right? We had we had yeah we can we had a, we had a show on Blog Talk yeah. for a little while. Then we just graduated, man. We graduated from Blog Talk to Mindstream Radio on RockTheFlow.com every Wednesday eight to ten. Get with us. Actually, and um, I'm sorry, I was going to say shout out to Ricky Smith. Yes, Ricky sir. Smith came up with the Mindstream Radio thing. Um, we were we were invited to do the show with him. It was a different show back then, and the show just sort of evolved into what it is now. Rick is doing other things. Shout out to him. He's doing a lot of movie stuff, architect productions. He's actually like a person behind the And so let's see. I want to know what is have what has been your experience in this business so far. I know Adam and I talked briefly about um, you know he was in music management and said that wasn't really for him. Tell me about what you've learned or your experience in the radio industry, in media. Well, I mean, we, we started out with the production company. We managed, man, I mean, shout out to all the all the cats. Shout out to Lyricists. We managed uh, Lyricists, uh, Mercy, uh, yeah, Lyricists Flows, Mercy, uh, Einstein, Problem Child, the Caddy Mac, the list goes on and on and on. So from that, I mean, we, we took our lumps, believe you me. We took our lumps in, in that business. Um, I still dabble in the music a bit myself. But then when we collectively started doing the radio thing, it just, it melded into a world of its own. It was something, it was almost like we're directly at home with what we're doing right here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I still dabble in the music a little bit, but as far as us, as far as the, the radio and the media goes, it's a beautiful marriage. I mean, I'm always comfortable with a microphone. He's good with a microphone, so it's like what we've learned is just constant grind and hard work, and to take our voice very seriously. And I don't, me, I don't mind grinding because it's what I love. Keep fighting, Miss Bobby. Hey, Margo, PG, the whole DMV. It's Miss Bobby. Hey. Right here is my swag. All the men know me like super bad. Cause I'm super bad. I'm the best he'll never have. Chocolate queen with style and class. Come and fill my glass. Riesling and Moscato. Bring the whole bottle. Let me type an email up. I'll be calling out tomorrow. Your whole image is all. This right here is authentic. If you from PG County, you very well might be your ass. We pretty girls swag, we pretty girls swag, ain't no need to brag, we pretty girls swag, no we pretty girls swag, we pretty girls swag. 
some of the wonderful things about Mindstream Radio is that they talk about a lot of topics that are not being discussed on regular radio. And that's why I love them. They invite me to shows like tonight we're going to be doing a show about religion in America, which is going to get really interesting. Um, the last time I was here, we did a show about cheating and what is cheating and do you need to be married to be a cheater. I mean, the list goes on and on. They cover current events and a lot of topics that people need to discuss. They also um, have it online so that you can chat and talk about it as well. I mean, the, the way that they're doing it and the flow that they're doing it in is very unique. And I know that a lot of people are going to catch on very quickly. Yeah, they're going to catch on. So your grind is absolutely amazing. Then we just started saying, let's just do panel discussions. Doesn't matter who's on the panel. Let's just get people on the panel. And we realized that it's about the topic. And then once the show got hot, that's how we were able to get a Raheem Devon on the show or, or, or Warren Jeezy on the show or, or folks of that, of that caliber on the show because the show has more clout now. But we're not really concerned about um, only getting celebrities or only getting big time names. It's about getting people because the show is about the people, I think. And it's about getting people like yourself, you know, like like a Jenks Morton or people like that. To, Black, and Black and Married with Kids. You know, it's about getting them on the show because they have something to say. And for real, if you have something to say, you can speak on the mic. Salibi Chris. Oh, boy. How you, how you doing, Chris? I'm doing great now that I'm being interviewed by you. Look at his face. <laughs> Started out at a PG with these guys, yes, and uh, yes, uh, we had a illustrious time there with the group BAM. It was a very, very fun times for us, and uh, I found out about them doing the radio show, and I uh, they asked me to come on once, and we had a really good rapport, and I decided I just wasn't going to leave. You know, that's what it was. <laughs> They didn't ask to bring me on or anything for me to come up. I just showed up the next week. So we call what we do edutainment. Just because we have a voice that reaches so far. I mean, we're on the, the World Wide Web. So we're here from, I mean, we have fans from what? From here to, to New Zealand, you know what I mean? To, to Paraguay, some, right, some pygmies, some pygmies over in Africa that get down with mainstream radio. But <laughs> Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> they do, man. They do. You know, I'm gonna tell you about it later on. Yeah. So we just try to be like multimedia. You know what I'm saying? So it's like if uh if you know, like right now, like tonight, we're gonna be talking about religion because there's a problem right now with everyone with our president. You know, they're you know, he's a Muslim, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? So people get caught up in things. So we just try to address those issues and at the end of the night, even when we bring like community issues, at the end of the night have a solvent for things or at least offer a service for it, you know? So, I mean, we're just thankful to God that that we have this voice and we've been given, it's been given to us so we're not gonna waste it.